Okay, this video is for my GCSE electronics students and we are learning about the D-type flip-flop, this thing. And this is one of the first examples in the booklet that you've got. And the D-type flip-flop has an input, a data input, that's why it's called D, and then there's also a clock, an output Q, and this Q bar means not Q, so the Q bar or the not Q is just the inverse of Q. Now, the thing that you have to understand is that transfer of data from D to Q only happens when the clock rises. R when I say rises, here's the clock here, so it's at a logic uh, low here, and then logic 1. So this is a rising edge, this is a rising edge, hopefully you can see this is a falling edge, but I'm only interested in the rising edges. So the data, whatever is at um, the D input, will be transferred. So if that's a logic low or zero, zero will be transferred when the clock goes from a zero to a one. If this were uh, the D were a logic one, and then the uh, the clock rises from a zero to one, then the one will be transferred. So I'll put Q. So you only, and you've really got to. Um, understand this, you're only interested in the rising edges of the clock. Now at this first rising edge, uh, that point is, uh, so D, remember this is D, uh, that D is actually a logic uh, low, a zero. And the next rising edge, this point here, that's also a logic zero. So remember each time we have a rising edge this D will be transferred to Q. So zero will be transferred, zero will be transferred each time these are zeros. On this rising edge you'll note that the input D is at a logic one. So that logic one is going to be transferred. So on the first rising edge we transfer zero, so it stays at zero. This is Q. On the next rising edge 0 is transferred, so Q stays at 0. And on the next rising edge, Q is, uh, has 0 transferred to it, so it stays at 0. But on the next rising edge of the clock, 1 will be transferred. OK, now they don't show you the next uh, rising edge, and nor do they show you uh, what the data would be at the next rising edge, so we can just leave that at logic high. So the other output, which is not Q, is going to be the inverse of the Q. So when the output Q is logic low, the output of not Q, or Q bar, will be logic high, and then uh, vice versa. So the not Q is actually really easy. Uh, hopefully you understand it has been really easy uh, to do because it's just the uh, inverse of Q. OK, now hopefully uh, that's quite easy to understand. Uh, it, uh, there are some special situations when it gets a little bit more difficult. Uh, perhaps we'll look at those in another video, but for now um, hopefully you've got to grips with the fact that we're only, uh, for the clock, we're only interested in the rising edges, we can ignore anything else, and things only happen to the output at the point of a rising edge, and at a rising edge whatever is at D, in this case 0, will get transferred to Q, so this D gets transferred to Q, this D tra gets transferred to Q, and now this logic 1D gets transferred to Q, that's why it goes up to there. Okay, that's it for the video.